Hey guys, look, I mean, I think when you look at this hire for Xavier, you're looking at a school who went out and just flat out got the best coach available. Like if you're a job recruiter and you're looking at all the resumes on your desk and there's one that just stands out, shines brighter than all the others from the, from the very get go, that was Sean Miller. But inevitably, there's going to be a ton of competition for that guy. And based on reports out there, there was a lot of competition there. But Xavier had the upper hand from the beginning because on the part of the school and on the part of Sean Miller, there was already a level of trust and comfortability there. But I want to show you the image from today that sticks out the most in my mind. And it was right after he got done addressing the crowd here at the CentOS Center. Several people came up to Sean Miller and started conversations with him, and it felt like a reunion between old friends. It wasn't just them recognizing Sean Miller, he recognized them too. He was calling people by name and cracking jokes with fans. He signed some autographs. Look, for me, it was the genuine feel of it. It felt authentic. Here are some of the first things he said to the crowd when he walked out onto the, po or, or to the podium. You know, I, I cried when I left. I sure hope I don't cry without now that I'm back. Today is one of the happiest and most exciting days of my life. <clears throat> All right, now a massive part of what Sean Miller talked about today was mistakes he's made and the lessons he's learned from those mistakes. It was more, you know, it was more about the lessons learned than it was the mistakes because he said he can't really get into a lot of the mistakes right now. He said he will later, and that's something we'll show you here in just a minute. Uh, but one thing that really stood out to me today that Sean Miller said was when I asked him one-on-one -on -one about the legacy he wants to leave behind years from now as a college basketball coach. And he said he wants college basketball fans, he hopes that college basketball fans remember this day, today, forever. 